Hello and welcome to another tutorial of mine. Today we're gonna talk about how to save ink. Cause ink plays a a really important part of building. Cause if you don't have ink you cannot build. And if you have let's say less ink at the end of the map or like invention, that's better than having like hundred percent. So you can fix stuff or change stuff in the future it is very very important so today we're going to talk about it a couple of tips and tricks and let's go right into it all right there's a lot of stuff on this board if you want to read them like text by text you can just pause the video and start reading them i'm gonna explain them in the fast way though for this video so we have for states when you press configure on a object you can select four states there's environment decoration physical and sticky i'm going to explain real quick what those are environment is it has a collision so let's have let's say you have a wall, wall and when you have environment on it you cannot go through it so it has a collision on decoration you remove that collision and you can go through it and that saves as much ink as possible physical is it has physics so it can fall you can throw it it has just physics sticky is the same as physical just it sticks so let's if you stick it on people it sticks there or stick it on a wall then you can stick it also there um I have a couple stuff on this board. I have a cube. I have I have tubes, uh, different facets, and I have spheres. I want to talk about those objects real quick and other met methods. So first, let's start with the cube. You can see right away environment, decoration, physical, and sticky have a big difference. So you can see all in all those four shards. You can see decoration takes less ink than everything else and physical and sticky takes more because physical and sticky adds a bunch of collisions and you can throw it and everything. I wouldn't recommend it if you have, uh, I mean if you need it for a map you can also do it but yeah it's up to you. I would also like I would recommend environment and decoration. I would recommend environment for stuff to walk on so let's say you have a map like an indoor map and you want to look outside so you have obviously the the indoor map the grounds on environment and the outside on decoration because you cannot you will not be able to go there so it doesn't matter if it's environment or decoration I would I would have it on decoration though because it saves more ink so you can put more terrain out or like stuff out you know and uh, I mean if you don't want to have your let's say building indoor building on environment you can also put it on decoration and just use collisions as also a way uh, but yeah it doesn't take as much ink as people think cube doesn't take as much then we have tube 10 facets then we're gonna see tube 10 facets takes more ink as six facets you can see like you can just see a difference on physical and sticky but we will go on that for more in like in a moment why use more six facets than ten facets um, but yeah spheres doesn't take as much ink also uh, I like spheres a lot because you can build good looking terrain you can build a lot with it Spheres is, Spheres is a good a good shape. I'll be honest, it's a really good shape. Then we have merging shapes. So there's a long text. You can you can uh, have it. You can you can stop the video and read it if you like to. I'm just gonna say it in the fast way. Basically, merging shapes is you putting objects uh, with other objects in one container so let's say if you go out of edit and you want to delete one object that is in a container with other objects you're going to delete all of those so um 
yeah basically as a example you putting stuff in a box and then you can carry that box with you because it's easier to carry around unless you have everything this unless you carry one thing after one thing after one thing I mean I don't know it's yeah stupid example but it's okay you know what I mean now down there these are the important parts we have merge bundle uh, spheres merge bundle tube 6 facets, facets and merge bundle tubes 10 facets now there you can see you can merge a lot more spheres on decoration than tube 6 facets and tube 10 facets um and then environment also you can see like how much how much stuff you can put in one box in one bundle with spheres as so you can save as much ink as possible and then when you see six facets tubes you can put 2400 decoration uh, it's not accurate on numbers but 2400 tubes that are six facets in one bundle in decoration that's almost the half that's that's almost the half of decoration uh, for spheres then you can see 10 facets it also just like split the six facets in half now you can do 1220 decorations a de decoration of 10 tubes facets it's it's really really ink taking so I would already like I would recommend everyone to use if you use terrain if you do something with just like you can look at it you not don't need to walk to it or like some always use 10 uh, always use tube six facets or spheres and decoration decoration is the best way to save ink really the best way and just an old side do not use props props don't look good they just look plain it's just for like other stuff I, I would never use props in a map uh, just do not use props I have seen it a lot it just takes a lot of ink you can do the same if you want to rebuild the same couch let's say the prop couch you save more ink than just putting the uh, the couch in um, but yeah because you cannot change stuff with props so some gonna be always physical uh, or environmental you cannot change it to decoration that's sad I wish they will put that down but I don't know maybe they will maybe they will change it in the future but yeah these are like some hard tips where we can save ink so you're gonna have your ink from looking like this to look like that but yeah I will show you guys now at the end uh, after this a example on a map that I just finished and then you guys have 10 seconds to like think on how much ink I have used for that map and then I will say in how much I used for that map after that 10 seconds you ready Have you guessed it right? If yes, put a comment down below if you have guessed it right. If not, tell me how much you thought it was on ink. Um, well, yeah, that was it for the video. I'm gonna put more videos out soon, and yeah, I have links in the description about like workshop halls, teacher stuff, and everything related around around creative rec room if you are curious so yeah i will see you guys next time bye